Those are good questions. Especially the fear-based one. A lot of um, a lot of people do get afraid of horses, and they, they you should be. <laughs> you should be. You should be afraid of horses. They're uh, they're big. They're fast. They're much bigger and much faster than us. And so to be able to predict being afraid of horses is totally normal. Anybody who's afraid of horses, you're normal. You should be. <laughs> but endeavor not to like work at the idea that you should be practicing it's 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 going to be which is why i put so many horse behavior videos up is so that you can practice uh, but you can practice watching and learning because uh, a lot of horses are the same i'd have to say horse horses behave in relatively the same way they all have the same kind of habits and the same kind of patterns that we can pick up on they're all their own individuals obviously but plenty of times you can transfer one horse, horse's behavior to another. And, as, and in a herd setting, what we're also trying to do is pick up how to deal with them in a herd setting because quite often there is more than one. And also of the idea, when you're with a horse, you are a, a herd of two. So act like it kind of thing. That's my opinion. I think it's very important. And that's what they're expecting as well. All the behaviors you see, they're expecting you to be able to kind of do. We are the higher thinking creature. It's not like they can't come up with ways to figure us out. And believe me, some humans really make it difficult for a horse to understand what on earth to do or think or say or act. But we can make it easier and essentially make it more expeditious, faster and more efficient way to communicate, which in turn makes you safer. <laughs>